Hi, it's Heather from Thicket Works. Today I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to stencil with Seth Apter's Baked Texture Embossing Powders for Artists. I'll be demonstrating this technique over this ordinary background created with DIY spray inks on glossy inkjet photo paper. Liquitex modeling paste mixed together with black craft paint will act as the binding media for the baked texture embossing powders. I received this gorgeous angel wings stencil designed by my friend Christy Taylor. If you'd like to pick up this beautiful stencil, there's a link in the description. I'm mixing together enough modeling paste to cover the surface of the stencil with a few drops of black acrylic craft paint. I've chosen to tint this mixture so that any bits of it that peek through the final layer of embossing powder will add depth and richness to the design. You can add any color of acrylic paint that you like. When you peel the stencil away, the surface is ready to receive the baked texture. I'm using ancient amber for this example. You will want to make certain to clean your stencil as quickly as possible after using modeling paste. When we heat the baked texture, that's causing the underlying modeling paste to boil and bubble like a cauldron full of eye of newt. The resulting texture is richly organic and full of life. I love the way that the dark modeling paste shines through in the areas where the embossing powder did not adhere fully. The layers of color coupled with the texture create a more interesting effect than one could ever have using, say, flat paint through a stencil. To frame the piece, I'm using the remaining modeling paste mixture on the edges of the page. By using a palette knife to apply the modeling paste, we can create a jagged texture that echoes the spiky formations on the wings. And did I mention the texture? Oh my goodness. A simple heart shape cut from black cardstock will form the focal point. And this time I'll be using this glue pen as the binding media for the embossing powders. The center of the heart will be ancient amber for that rich golden metallic gleam. The liquid glue provides a smoother but still fascinating texture. I'm going to surround the gold inner heart with a layer of chunky rust. Initially, I thought this would be a combination that would work well with this piece, but I change my mind as the piece progresses. Once the chunky rust has been fully activated by the heat gun, I take a few moments to contemplate the result and realize that I need more darkness. Next, I'll add a rich dark border of Rocky Road, this delicious black with flecks of silver. But there's still not enough darkness. So after adding a border of Rocky Road, I add even more over the top of the chunky rust layer, allowing just a bit to peek through. And now we have a result that a girl can love. The heart motif fits perfectly between the wings, but it's missing one thing, and that's a sentiment. Even if our hearts feel old and rusty, we can always have hope. To integrate that sticker into the background, a single spritz of do-it-yourself coffee stain. And once it's dried, Double-sided foam tape is used to lift it slightly off of the background surface. If you're a fan of grungy texture coupled with gorgeous metallic gleam, you'll have to give this technique a try. The resulting texture is delicious to touch. It's a delight for the eye and for the fingertips. Christie's beautiful stencil design has been a pleasure to work with and coupled with the Seth Apter baked texture embossing powders for artists, this powerful motif really comes to life 
and helps to express something that I feel very strongly about. Always have hope, no matter what. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Until next time, bye.